Welcome to Scorched Earth and a general reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon or Ascendant for the month of November. I hope you're welcome. I'm using the Pagan Otherworlds Tarot for you today. Here it is. What do I have to tell you? There will be an extended at the end of this if it resonates with you and you would like to go a little bit deeper. That will be the first link in the description box. The second link is the six month overview that I did for each of the signs that runs from July to December. Now obviously we've got only a couple of months of that left. So I have reduced the prices accordingly. Um, if you haven't had a chance to check it out, now's probably a good time. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's everything. So... <clears throat> Although, when I did the meditation before I started your reading, I actually thought I was going to throw up. The energy was so intense. Um, definitely something going on with you at the moment. Or maybe that's just maybe that's just Pisces. Who knows? I'll close the window once the cauldron's burnt down and stop pissing smoke everywhere. Right, give me three cards for Pisces, please. There we go. We have Knight of Pentacles in your recent past. In your current energy, we have a clusterfuck. What the fuck? I'm not taking all of those. <clears throat> we'll try that one again. Current energy for Pisces, please. Oh, that's better. We've got the Judgment card. And what's coming towards Pisces for November, please. Thank you. We have the Page of Cups. There's your card. I like that. I don't know if it's a strict astrological correspondence, but it, it's just Piscean to me. I can't see it any other way. We've got the Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck, which is interesting because we've got the Six of Swords behind it. This definite sense of movement here and needing to move and needing to make decisions about something actually Pisces but we'll get into it in a second <clears throat> tell me about the Knight of Pentacles please thank you we have the Three of Swords and the Six of Pentacles okay tell me about judgment we have the Knight of Pentacles again. This is Virgo energy here. And I can scarce believe it, but we have Judgment as well. Okay. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Right. Okay. I'm not sure what's going on with you, Vimy, uh, Pisces. And honestly, I'm not sure it's going to come out fully until the Vimeo, but I'll do my best. Got the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of this desk. Deck. Deck. This is properly throwing me. Ah. Like I said, when I connected to your energy, it was really, really intense. And it was. Like, I actually thought briefly for a second that I was going to spew. Okay. There was that level of intensity going on there. <clears throat> and that there was a decision that needed to be made. Now, we see this reflected in the Judgment card. Now, I'm not going to skip ahead too much in myself here but but there is a sense of you drawing to a crossroads and needing to make a, a decision and the type of cards that are on the table here make me feel like this is a very big decision indeed which is interesting so <clears throat> I'm going to pull another deck to the side to to uh to, oh, we're going to use the world unknown there you are at the bottom of the deck, High Priestess. Oh, it's going to be shut. So in your recent past, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Now, like I said, it's Virgo energy, um, and it's a card that repeats on the table, right? We've got this. What I've got a feeling of is that there being a kind of cyclical nature to what this is here, like almost like you are going around in circles about this. Now, it could be that it involves a Virgo. That's possible, but. It's not sitting right as the interpretation for this. Right? Knight of Pentacles is, is obviously Earth energy, and it's about making slow progress towards towards a goal. <clears throat> it's very methodical.
But it also talks about really understanding the value of something. And I see this being an offer here, but it's it's you offering something. And it's almost like you offered something and it was rejected, it was turned down here. Now, I've got this vague recollection that in a reading that I did for you very recently, and I can't remember whether it was the October mid-month or it was the main one for October, there was this sense of you having, of working on something, some kind of creative project or a project that, that involved your type of creativity within it. Now, as I'm looking at this, it looks like you offering it to someone, like you show, you know, here's a thing, are you interested on in taking it on board? And in the first instance, it's clarified by the Three of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. Well, the Three of Swords is obviously that very visceral scene of heartbreak, you know, like something not going as one had planned. <coughs> and, uh, you know, feelings of pain and rejection, you know, that stabbing through the heart that, that goes with it. And we also have the Six of Pentacles, so we... Possibly have you offering this to someone who might have been in a position to be able to take it on, do something with it, expand it, you know, pitching it at someone. That's one way of looking at this, but the and, and the pitch being for some reason unsuccessful. But the other way to look at this six of pentacles, because I see the pentacles as energetic currency, is you kind of you know, writing yourself after an initial rejection on something. <sighs> Finding your balance within it and going, okay, well, if it's not this person, I'll go somewhere else. I'll do, you know, I'll offer it to someone else. Maybe I'll go back and revise it just a little bit. I knew this was going to be a reading where I needed extra cards. Huh? We've got the Page of Cups underneath the Three of Swords. What about this? And the Four of Pentacles. And the Nine of Wands. Mm. <clears throat> it feels like whatever it was that you were presenting was not appreciated. Now, I don't think it was not appreciated because what you had presented was not fit for purpose. More it was that this person doesn't see what this is and as I'm, I'm speaking I've got these words that that are being um, repeated in my head and I need to spit them out before they um, disappear again <laughs> but this other person was looking for something relatively homogenous something quite popular and what they weren't after was originality, and that is what you had presented to them. Right? It was an it was a novel take on something. It was an original take on something, and uh, they're not looking for that. They're looking for you know stack them high, sell them cheap kind of. Uh, th th these are the kind of vibes that I'm getting off here. So, <clears throat> with the page of cups. The Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands here. I feel like this Six of Pentacles has that, that dual interpretation. I feel like both of them apply. Like you have kind of righted yourself and you stuck to your original vision, actually. I don't feel like you've made adjustments because I don't think that you need to and you know that you don't need to, although it has been in the first instance not as well received as you had anticipated. We've got that Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck here with the star as well. This originality of vision that you have about the thing that you have been creating. <clears throat> but we also have the Four of Swords underneath here. Oh, light shining out of the lamb's eye, you know, third eye there. It's like you have the vision. You know exactly what it is that you're onto here. And I don't feel a sense of you capitulating at all. It's, a, it's the maintaining the vision, maintaining the originality. I think that it wounded you a little bit because this really does tap into the core of who you are. Like it feels to me like you've really tapped into something here that expresses you in a way that 
that feels very, very authentic. And so where it was rejected, it was almost like a rejection of you. But in the recent past, you have found it within yourself to stick to your guns, and stick to your authenticity and refuse to compromise on that, which is very, very important. Very important. <clears throat> When we move into your current energy, we have the Judgment card, which is then clarified by the Knight of Pentacles again, and the Judgment card again. We see you going around in a circle. Now, <clears throat> what I'm trying to drag in here is where this, where this decision needs to be made, and, and in what sense, because it seems to me that you've already decided not to compromise your authenticity on this you're not watering down your vision for anyone you're not putting in these homogenous additions that were suggested to you because that would make it just like everybody else's and that's not what your vision is that's not what you were trying to to bring together but it seems like there's there's a decision that needs to be made in the current here and now and it feels really rather big Pisces and I wonder if you are <clears throat> whether you've decided what you were doing was was not big enough almost like it needs to go bigger tell me about this light past this judgment <clears throat> Seven of Cups and the Ten of Wands. And the Eight of Cups in reverse. <laughs> Fucking judgment at the bottom of the deck. Again. Ah, followed by the Devil and the High Priestess. Which, as a combination, I actually... So, obviously, the High Priestess is Pisces energy. The, Cap the, the Devil is Capricorn energy, right? But... I've had this discussion, I actually discussed it even only on the live stream that I did recently, uh, about how I often see this combination for artistic people. Because with the High Priestess Pisces energy, it's about taking a concept, a feeling, as something that feels like it needs to be expressed, which you have managed to access, or, or artists managed to um, access. And then finding a way of giving it material form, because the, the devil is, you know, holds dominion over the entire material realm. And there is no card that is all negative or all positive within the tarot. So this combination of cards, specific combination of cards, is that process of creating art. It is creating something from an expression, from an idea, from a concept, whatever, that other people can perceive, right? You give it form and then other people can see it. It's underneath the judgment card here. And we also have the Father of Swords. Do we see you going back, Pisces, to the same person who tried to get you to be all homogenous about it <clears throat> and standing your ground? Maybe like doubling down on exactly what it is that you've, you've come up with. The Father of Swords, the King of Swords here, as it sits behind the High Priestess and the Devil, this is a master communicator, you know, it's, we see it um, indicating the professions often. And so that's, you know, doctors and lawyers and accountants and things like that. But there's something very, very serious and very, very intent about this father of sorts. And he's holding on to this sort. And there's absolutely no sense here that he's in any danger of dropping it. Like, he looks like a very fierce creature there. Okay. Are you going back and advocating again for what it is that you are putting in place? But this time more stridently? I think so. I mean, the judgment card has come up here three times. Now, that does talk about a major life changing decision of some sort. But it can also talk about your judgment. It can also talk about situations returning, right? Re being revisited for another go around. And we've got the Seven of Cups, the Ten of Wands 
and the Eight of Cups in reverse that have come up. Now, the Eight of Cups in, in the upright here is about walking emotionally away from a situation, right? You've left the situation, maybe taken the emotions with you for a while, but then processing them, releasing them, letting them go. This card is about circling back. It's about coming back because there is an emotional attachment here. The Seven of Cups and Ten of Wands is interesting because it speaks about confusion. <clears throat> it speaks about potentially illusion here. And is it that somebody is under the illusion that, that what you are trying to bring about would be a lot more work than it actually is? Because this Ten of Wands is a card of burden. It seems like you are alleviating someone from this uh, alleviating. Oh shit. I don't know what word I'm looking for there at all. <sighs> Alleviating the burden of misapprehension that somebody seems to be under as to how much work this thing is that you have got here. Now, okay, so it, it could literally be a piece of art, but it could be an artistic and creative way of doing something, some sort of solution that you've come up with. But the, the important thing here is that you really, really believe in this. You really believe in what you were doing. And although it was knocked a little, your confidence was knocked a little, like it's almost like it won't go away. You won't let it go. And neither should you, Pisces, because it seems like it has the potential to do very, very well. We have this 10 of pentacles at the bottom of the deck here. Now, whether this relates to something, you know, that, you know, whether you were in the creative interest industries and, you, you know, you literally make things, that, that's one thing of, of looking, one way of looking at this. But it, it could be a solution to a problem as well. And you're like, no, this is it. I know this is it. I really feel like this is it. I'm going to go back in and pitch again for this because it's too important not to. When we come into November, we have the Page of Cups. Just as we had the Page of Cups back down here, we have you coming back with this cup and re-offering it. But I feel it being accepted. <clears throat> because the Page of Cups is all about acceptance. It's about forgiveness as well, too. It's about apologies also. Could it be that you're about to get an apology for the fact that somebody knocked you back the first time because they did not understand the originality of the thought that you had? It's almost like they weren't able, like they didn't have the comprehension, uh, comprehensive abilities to be able to, to perceive what it was that you were bringing here. <laughs> Fuck my life. <clears throat> so it's clarified by the Ten of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. And then I asked specifically about the Ten of Swords and I got the Two of Wands again and the Judgment card again. The message here, I think, is, is one of those should I keep flogging a dead horse because this person does not understand what it is that I am bringing to them, the value of what it is that I am bringing to them? And should I take it elsewhere or should I keep coming back to it? This judgment card has come out four times for you now. This is a huge decision that you need to make. Pisces. And I suspect not just because of what it is that you are doing, but because of the ramifications for the rest of your life, right? the other areas of your life moving forwards. We've got both the World card and the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom here. There's something absolutely hurtling towards completion here. And whatever it is that you have been working on, whatever it is that you've been trying to put together, that is the catalyst for this. And maybe it's maybe it's revealed fractures that you were not aware existed in the relationship or in the situation, however it resonates to you. But now you do see them. And now that you have something that you believe wholeheartedly in, it's almost like you can't 
you can't even contemplate staying here. And so there's a, a decision to be made, but the judgment card and the wheel of fortune here. The wheel of fortune can mean lots and lots of things, but it also has this slight deus ex machina kind of feel to it. it it's that stuff that you don't see coming, it just kind of wheels in from nowhere, you know, like a curveball from the universe. But one that sees you ending something very, very swiftly and starting something equally as swiftly, you know, leaving off with this situation or this person and going, right, I see that this is not for me. I see where all the holes are in this and actually I can't I can't continue working here or I can't continue collaborating with this person. You know, <clears throat> there was a mismatch here and it seems to be hurtling towards its end. That will of fortune, thank you. We have the Hierophant. And the Judgment card again. It's all a matter of commitment. There you are. There you are at the bottom of the deck, Pisces. It's, it's all a matter of what you wish to commit to. And I feel like what has been revealed to you over this short period of time and will continue to do so over the month of November is hurtling you towards a change in direction that you had not anticipated just a month ago. Because if you stay where you are, you're not being authentic. Your work cannot be authentic. You know, your, your whatever it is that you're doing cannot be authentic if it stays where it is, if you stay where you are. And it seems like you're being pushed to the edge of the cliff a little bit, Pisces, and it's like, well, are you ready to jump? Like, are you going to put your money where your mouth is? Do you really believe in what this is? Because if you do, like, we're going to end everything for you and you're going to have no choice but to jump off that. What a bizarre reading. Like this. Got the Father of Cups, which is Scorpio energy. It talks about a high level of emotional investment. We've got the Tower <clears throat> and the Four of Cups and the Fool at the bottom of the deck. Like, I knew the Fool was here. I was just waiting for it. Pick. Hierophant sat right behind that again. <clears throat> the meaning of the Tower is, is, is a sudden and shocking event that you don't really see coming. But the Wheel of Fortune and the Tower together with judgment scattered liberally right the way through it as it has been. It seems to me like you realise that you're being taken advantage of, but more than that, because that is actually something that you might have considered putting up with if the end result got what it is that you believe in out into the world, but it doesn't. And it's almost like this, this whole thing has revealed revealed a situation that you actually want no part in at all. It just does not feel right to you at all. And so you should expect very, very sudden changes. You should expect to need to make a decision really on the hoof, but to commit to it, Pisces, with everything that you have, you know, with every bit of you that is invested in what it is that you are doing. There isn't an aspect of your life that isn't going to be touched, that isn't going to be affected in some way by the decision that you make here. But it all goes very, very well for you. Having the bravery to just take the leap and trust that, you know, what is coming next is going to be good for you because like, it really does feel like it, like it is. I've never seen so much energy. <clears throat> So this is careering along very, very fast, which is not, not what I usually associate with Pisces. And it absolutely validates 
why the energy felt so intense in the meditation before I started your reading. I, I swear, I nearly spewed. And it's it's been a while since I've felt that kind of um, absolute juggernaut of energy here. It's funny how fierce you can be, Pisces, when it's something that that is really important to you, that you really believe in, that you really see the value of. Like, I don't see you backing down on this at all. And this explains the cycle. I think that you can probably feel this tower coming, to be honest. I think that as the cracks are starting to be revealed, there's that intuitive sense that something's about to break wide open very, very soon. And are you going to fall into the chasm or are you going to take the leap and jump over it? <clears throat> are you going to spread your wings and see where they take you? Oh, wow. What an exciting reading. I love this for you, Pisces. Right. I'm going to go over to Vimeo now and, and go and kind of try and deconstruct this a little bit. But honestly, the... The speed of this is the thing that's really throwing me and the intensity that goes with it. I'll just go and have a look at this in Vimeo and see what's going on. Um, so if you'd like to join me over there, that's all cool. If you are not, that's also all cool. I will see you next time. Um, but it's that whole uh, Uranus squaring off, like, is it all Uranus? Mm. So Uranus is doing some funny transits at the moment, but there's also the Sun squaring off Mercury and Mars and something else, I think. And the energy is very sudden. Unexpected changes coming in. I feel that really strongly for you here, Pisces. Whew. That's quite exciting, actually. I like this. Right, anyway, let's stop wittering. Vimeo, not Vimeo, all cool. I love you all very, very much. Take care and I'll see you soon.